Hello everybody. Welcome to Prime Plays. Ease. Hmm. Uh, this is the Ease Chronicles version that's on Steam. Um, I'm going to quickly close my door, just in case there's any noise. Uh, yeah, so I decided to do something a wee bit different this time. Let's uh, I decided to do like a let's play. So these are probably going to be about 15, 15, 20 minutes long each, maybe, like a, a stretch, like each episode, just so just so I can you know keep it to kind of the same length as a as a lot longer. You've got five minutes, you know. So uh, yeah, let's. Uh, I've played this game before, but uh, I thought it was really good, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna do like a, a let's play for you guys. So let's uh, let's jump in. Um, the only problem with this game is that I've got to save it manually. Uh, I hate saving manually. Right? Okay. Uh, yeah, new game. Let's go for it. Uh, and I'm I'm not planning uh, uh, Chronicles 2009. Yeah, I'll do the newer one. I'm not planning on like. I'm not planning on like challenging myself by playing it on like any hard difficulties. Like whenever I do a let's play, it's just going to be casual. It's it's not it's not going to be for challenging myself or anything like that. I'm just going to set this to easy. I'm just all all I want to do is play the game. Whoa! How did that happen? Two seconds. Oh, good, you're awake. Don't strain yourself now. Your body is covered in bruises. So are you still hurting anywhere? There was some pain, but nothing debilitating. Get some rest. You're in a clinic at Barbado Port. Hey, Dad, is the stranger awake yet? Ah, slaff. <laughs> oh my goodness, why did they call it? Bludo. Bludo and slaff. That, what names, eh? Dr. Bludo and slaff, my son. What What should we call him, Bludo? Uh, uh, slaff. They call him slaff. Because he makes me laugh. He's slaff. He's my son. And he's a laugh. He's a good laugh. So, Slaff? Oh, Bluto, it's perfect. Ah, Slaff, you're early. How did the meeting go? Same as always. No real progress. Well, the patient's only just awoken. Glad to see you back among the living. Ah, yes, where are my manners? My name is Bluto, and I own and operate this clinic. This is my son, Slaff. He found you collapsed on the beach and brought you here. We drove off the rebel, re, reball. We drove off the reball that attacked you. It was a real close call. Adol told Slaff his name and expressed his gratitude. Adol, eh? Good name. I don't recognize you, though. Adol, eh? Good name. I don't recognize you, though. Where are you from? Adol explained that the journey from the prom lock by Hysteria by B what? Adol explained that he journeyed from Promalock to Hysteria by boat. My word, you've came overseas. <laughs> Amazing! You're the first man I know to get past the storm wall. Adol is awesome though. Isla. What do you think you're what do you two think you're doing? <laughs> Uh oh, here she comes, watch out, boy, she'll chew you up. I'll chew you up, Slaff, if you keep making comments like that. The man's wounded, you know. He shouldn't... The man's wounded, you know. Shouldn't you leave him be? He needs his rest. That's my Alia, Ayla. Always keeping us in check. You make a good point, my dear. Yeah, okay, I'll stop talking his ear off. Rest up, Adol. But know this, I'm not done with you yet. <gasps> oh my goodness, dog. You go away downstairs, and, and then when I shut my door, you try to get in. Oh! Anyway. 
Under the clinic's care, Adol recovered quickly. Several days later. Do what you need to do, dog. If you want to lie down, lie down. Several days later. Look at that armor. Look at that legend. Look at him. I'm just gonna walk now. Run! Good morning, Adol. You seem to be in tip top shape now. Uh, good morning, Adol. You seem to be in your shape now. Still, you should probably. I, still, you should probably. Uh, I, I'm. This is this is what's going to be like the whole game if I don't stop now. So I'm just going to stop. I'm just going to read it out. Still, you should probably take it easy for a bit, just in case. Well, I suppose I'll walk around town could do you some good. Just don't overexert yourself. For for a boy your age to have slept so soundly, you must have quite a story to tell. Adol, the portside warehouse has become home base for the town's militia. Slav should be there. He can answer any questions you might have. Just be careful not to do too much too soon. Listen, Adol, there are monsters outside the town, so don't push your luck, okay? Okay. And is this save point, maybe? No. No, okay. That's menu. Right, okay. Um, I can't remember, like, d do you save, like, files? Ah, you, you, can, you can just save the game whenever you like, because that's fine. Yeah, I love this game. It's so cool. Uh, typical RPG stuff, though, like, in the towns and all that. Well now, who might you be? Ugh, stop, stop doing the voices. I see your young man, Dr. Bludo, has been looking for. He must have been through a lot. But you're looking very well. That's Bludo for you. <laughs> That's our Captain Bludo. That's the guy that Popeye fights all the time. In the Bludo. Blue Bludo. Blue Bludo. So yeah. Freaking ease, man. Such a cool series of games. These little critters are called Picards. They've been raised as livestock here for generations. Get it? Star Trek The Next Generation? Picards? <laughs> Their meat is absolutely delicious, but they're real easy prey for monsters, so we raise them here, where nothing can hurt them but us. That's... That's horrifying. I can't believe you said that. Watch out for the blue-headed demons in the, in the field. Uh, be careless and you'll be dead. You're only human after all. If you're not sure about your chance of survival, then run away. Run like the wind. You're blue-headed. End you, mate. So she. Oh, I'm surrounded by enemies. No! My son and his wife live in Minia. They keep asking me to live with them, but they must be joking. This is my home. I can never leave here, no matter what the danger. Okay. That's really, really nice of you to hear that. The ships are all ground. There's no work to be had at the harbour anymore. I'd been hoping to branch out into the silver trade, but that didn't exactly work out either. Bad luck all round. Uh oh. Um, beer. That's an inn then, I suppose. Or a bar. A bar or an inn. Such stunning red hair, you must be Adol. No, Dr. Bluto told me all about you. As you can see, we're on a bit of a break right now. The storm was not conducive to the tourism after all. Before the storm wall appeared, this is where bar was always packed. I can handle being poor. I just really hate being bored all the time. Yeah, well, I mean... Being poor is not a massive deal when you're living in like a total nice wee village like this where nobody really, you know, everybody's sort of working with the sweat of their brow and that and like nobody really cares about money. They're just kind of like, oh, here, like, it's a service, you know. Everybody's serving each other in some way. At one time, uh, Barbado was swimming and the traders like my husband, but they uh, all tried to go home and swallowed up by the storms. I'm just grateful to have my family here with me, though that's enough to keep me happy. I came here because I heard I obtained a profit in the silver trade. I just want to go home, dad stole all my head, stole my progeny, all suffer uncomfortable bloating. My daddy always talks about leaving his territory, but why don't I go to my friends right here? Okay, bye. Cat. That, that's, that's a dog! That's a dog! No way! Oh my 
goodness. That's a dog. I can tell it's a dog there. I've been fishing here for as long as I can remember. Since the storm wall appeared, my catch has been consistently bigger than ever. I believe one... I believe one would call that my mixed blessing. I was about to say mind-blowing, but never said that, so... Can I kill this crab? Now you can push it about, though. That's cool. Ah, go away. Totally wiped out, blah blah blah. You're the one that's left rescued, aren't you? Fine, red hair like yours is certainly a rarity here. Yeah, so like Adol's like an outsider. He all, he's always an outsider. He's never at his own hometown. Uh, he's never in his own home country. It's always him exploring other places. And that's just what he does. That's Adol. Watch the surrounding area from here. That way, if the demons try to mount an attack, they can see them coming and get ready for it. So yeah, just like Adol's like this young adventurer. He's like a kid who, like, he's probably 17 or something like that. And he's essentially... There you go. Why, if it isn't Adol, you okay to be moving around like that? Every time I stopped by, you were sent to sleep. You must have been exhausted. So head any murmurings overseas about Hysteria? I'd love to know about what people are saying about us. Adol told Slaffy he heard the land was cursed. Cursed, huh? That's not really true. But it's also not too far off. I guess we can't count on any support from the outside. If they think we are cursed over here, we've got to take action. Anyway, I don't know a whole lot, uh, but I'll gladly answer questions. any questions I can. Ask away! Tell me about Barbado, a very important time in Hysteria. It used to just be a small fishing village that still was discovered nearby, then it boomed overnight. Oh, since the storm all showed up, no time to go, we all know out. Our exporting days are over. So now it's just a fishing village. Again, for the time being anyway. At least everyone got some money all, uh, from all the silver trade while it lasted, I guess. Hysteria is a small island country. There are only a few towns here. Barbado was the walled city of Minia and Zepic village in the mountains. Not long ago, there was also a town called Raston, but it got wiped out by monsters after the mine closed. The place where I found you is called Whitehorn Beach. Mother of Pearl uh, pieces wash ashore there. Great place to for a stroll, save for the monsters everywhere. What else? Oh yeah, Dra Darm Tower. Dram Tower, Dram Darm Tower. Hysteria's claim to fame, sort of. It just seems like uh, to kiss the clouds, doesn't it? On clear days, you can see it all the way from Promalock. There are other touristy spots, but they've been infested with monsters ever since the storm wall showed up. Damn thing really made life difficult for us. It appeared, let's see, about six months ago. The first storm started on a night when some uh, trade ships carrying silver lit out, uh, set out for Barbado. Buffeted by the storm, the ships were obliter obliterated. Buffeted? Is, like, is that meant to be like a buff like you know, buffet? Or is that a completely different world? Like, I'm, I'm sorry, like, this is the kind of thing that, like, my mind, like, is that meant to be buffet? Buffeted? Like, like, the storms just ate them, yeah? Ships were obliterated. Washed ashore on Whitehorn Beach the next morning. We first thought it was an isolated incident, but, uh, incident, but the same fate has been met by every other ship since. That's how the storm will got its start. And, uh... That's and, and now we Hysterians uh, are pretty much trapped here. Most people have just kind of resigned themselves to their fate, but me? I'm too stubborn for that. <laughs> when the storm all appeared, monsters came with it. That's what attacked you that day on the beach. We call that particular species Reball. Monsters first up, uh, appeared on the road up the mountain, but they began attacking the villages soon after. Barbado in particular was hit pretty badly. Minea seemed just as vulnerable, but they've got that uh, wall around them. So they're uh, much more secure. Zepic was spared too somehow. Supposedly kept the monsters out with some kind of mystical bell. Or sp did they say bell or spell there? I must have skipped that. We, we have nothing of the sort here though. So we have to take up arms and defend the town ourselves. Okay, so I've got a thousand gold. You should come back sometime. Uh, so yeah, this this guy Adol here. He set, uh, set sail. And uh, he, he's, uh, he wanted to go on an adventure, because his dad's an adventurer. Uh, and essentially, like, hearing all the stories from his dad, he wanted to he wanted to do the same thing. He was like, oh man, this, this is amazing, I want to do this. So he essentially just got on a boat and, like, left for this place. And there's this gigantic wall of, like, water, essentially. And that's the storm wall. 
and nobody's ever been able to get past it since it appeared. But he managed, like it was a shipwreck, but he managed to survive it and he was found on a beach. And uh, Slav saved him there. So now he's recuperated and this is where he is. So he's in he's in this uh, this place here now. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've got to go and find some sort of weapon though. So it's not here. I might want to talk to the uh, these guys again actually. He's always been one of the assistant shoulders in burdens. Stubborn one, he never listens to a single word I say. Reminds me of someone else in this room. Huh. I think you're strapping your lad and all, but please don't overestimate yourself. We don't want you getting hurt again. Uh, leave. Okay, I don't need healing or medicine. Um, I'm pretty sure I've got to get like a piece of armour or a sword or something. I can't remember what it is though. Kicking himself, uh, attack, you know it would be better for everyone by Radu to move to Minea. Hey mister, did you come from the mainland? Uh, isn't the storm more really neato? I hope it stays, stays forever. If it ever goes away, the girl next door will have to leave with her family. Oh. This is the town where I was born and raised. It's my home. If to ever consider leaving this place. But with my child's safety as paramount, so perhaps Minea with the city wall would be uh, the real place to be. <laughs> so where... Where did I get the sword from again? Or do I already have a sword? I don't have anything on me right now. I'm pretty sure I need to find a weapon before I venture out into the, the mainland, the, the main overworld thing. Oh, there you go. It's locked. Why is it locked? It should be a armory. Okay. I want to join your guys or whatever they're called. What are they called again? Militia. Alright, okay. Alright, okay. Um, I need a weapon though. And that's almost 20 minutes, guys. So, what I'll do is I'll go to a uh, file save and uh, save number five that's the that's our new one okay uh, yeah so that was episode one just a quick little brief introduction to uh, to ease which is a really cool game once like what once it starts getting into it and once we start like the combat and everything like that uh, once we start getting into the, the story proper it's going to be absolutely incredible so thanks for watching guys I'll see you next time Bye!